Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obita Potato. This is Project High Rise. Things are going kind of okay. Uh, we may have expanded a little bit too fast a rate uh, that we're comfortable with, quite frankly, but that's okay. What I'm not okay with is only having two maintenance people, and we're going to try and sort that out today somehow. Uh, ideally, though, you know, the maintenance people could perhaps build the stuff in the basement first. Is there any way that I can assign them to do that? I don't think there is, but there we go. Maintenance people need to work on, the, you know, the basement, because quite frankly, we need some more kit. Uh, one of the kit that we... One of the, one of the kit... One more piece of kit that we actually do need is we need another electrical connection. And that is a problem because we have no such availability for this piece of kit. Oh. Well, that literally solves our entire problem. I thought that that had to be built up before uh, before before it would work. But hey-ho. Tenant is considering moving out. I mean, why would you move out? Utilities are, are, are up and running, man. You don't need to worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Utilities are all are all good, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Everybody just take a little bit of a chill pill, and uh, it'll all be a okay. All right. What do we need? Do we need? Can we get another restaurant? Let's get another fucking food court down here. I feel that you know that's what's going to save our bacon, right? Place an ad for minus. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I guess we're just going to leave that blank for a, for a little bit. Accounting offices, you guys are not going to do it. No, we can't get any more customers. Nobody else, we can't get any more customers at all, which is a major problem. Also, the people that are currently in our studio apartments are going to be hating on my ass because, quite frankly, we have not given them the appropriate trash services that they need. Uh, so we need to get that sorted out as soon as possible. Uh, I don't even know if we're going to have enough money to do that, but hey-ho. Let's have a look at the contracts, because at the end of the last episode, we managed to fill up our existing contract, which is kind of nice. Uh, basic offices, 16 small offices. That's kind of nice. Studio apartments, construct 10. I'm going to take this bad boy. So we need to get 10 studio apartments, which is ambitious, but easily achievable, considering we've already got four. Okay, you are clearly masturbating at work, which is fine, I guess, if that's your thing. You know, some people don't like that. And you've now turned into an orange person. How do... Can we not build this? Can we please build this sometime today? I would love it if we built the stuff that I needed. Oh, shit, we got a new trash person. Is that a new guy? Oh, no, it seems that we've still got Rebecca and uh, the other guy. Rebecca and Leonard up here. And now we've got Peggy in the trash room. All right. That's cool. So are you going to come down here and work in the basement? Okay, you're going to come down here and work in the basement. Really, quite frankly, all I care about is getting some fucking bins set up over here. Now, would you please, 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 please help me out with that? Please, please, please. Uh -huh. There are no dinner spots here. Well, there there is one dinner spot, like, right there. Did not turn a profit yesterday. There are too f few customers or too much unreachable destination. I mean, you take an elevator, you reach the destination. <laughs> it's that's not a big deal. You you take an elevator, you reach the destination, you arrive at said destination. Mission accomplished. Uh, okay, let's get some some bins set up on the levels where there is capacity needed. There we go. You're gonna build this. Fantastic. We got an achievement called In the Black, which is great. Which means that we're now making money. Oh man, this is this is a hell of a good news. Hell of a good news. The bins are now up and running. I'm presuming that you're going to be annoyed because you could not dispose of our trash yesterday. Residents seem unhappy there. Please don't be unhappy. Trust me, it's going to be worth it. We need some prestige. We need we need 20 population to get prestige, so we're going to be trying to work on that. We also need to build some more studio apartments, and currently at the rate that we're going at of, what is that, two, two studio apartments per floor, it's going to take us a while to get up to that level. So I'm thinking that, I don't know what I'm thinking actually. I'm, I was thinking like, could we expand outwards and build more studio apartments on, you know, existing levels so that we can use our trash facilities that we've got on these two levels? Or perhaps we just want to build up higher, but that at the same time is going to mean that we're going to have to build up the the trash bit 
so to speak. Literally a line of trash. Uh, so I'm not too keen on that. At the same time, though, I like the idea of building out. Right? I like the idea of building out. Oh, shit. I like the idea of building out so that we can use our existing facilities, but that's going to that's gonna be quite expensive. That's going to be quite expensive. We might have to take out a loan, which I'm not super thrilled about, but hey-ho. Uh, so you take up one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just the minimum for an extra two studio apartments, I think, at the moment is what we want. Unless we want to go buck wild and go for an extra, like, four. That's right. Never has anybody seen a wilder guy than me. But this is what we're going to do. You're going to masturbate furiously at work, and you're going to do something weird with your hand in a way that probably shouldn't happen. There's a problem with one of your elevator shafts. It's going to mean that the people traveling from the affected floor will experience a much longer wait time than usual. No one likes waiting, and this will undoubtedly make them unhappy. If you have a building maintenance office, they'll send someone to fix it as soon as they can. If you don't have one, I would think about getting one right away. You know what? That's a great, great, great idea, and we should probably get one. A maintenance office is exactly what we are going to get. Now, fortunately, it costs us zero money to build. However, it does cost us upkeep, which is a little bit of a problem. You've moved out, you utter, utter, utter bellend. I hope, uh, I hope you regret your decision, quite frankly. Still nobody that wants to come to a food court, unfortunately. At least we've got some maintenance people right now. We're going to potentially dip into the hole a little bit here. Uh, that's okay, we've got a little bit of money. Uh, we've got a little bit of potential money over here, shall we say. Uh, commercial bank, wow, okay, so... We can get a credit card loan if we if we really, really need it. I mean, that's okay. It's not great. The economy city is really heating up. City vacancies are very low, and tenants are willing to pay higher rents. Not for insurance offices. No. Not at all. Residents seem unhappy there. Residents are content. Well, fuck me. That's, that's great. Let's have a look at satisfaction. Copy services needed. needed. Memos don't copy themselves. All right, uh, oh shit, okay, this is a problem, copy services, fuck, I don't know, I don't know where we're going to place copy services, can we place them in the basement? Can't place them in the basement, I guess, in fact, I have no idea where we place them, actually. Well, let's get some studio apartments online so that we can, fingers crossed, get ourselves out of this situation, this sticky situation. Mm -hmm. But copy services is kind of a big deal, and so are courier services. Copies and courier services. Yeah, we need, we need to get those sorted El Pronto style. So we shall endeavor to do so. Uh, looks like studio apartments can fit one in here, one more in here. There we go. Basic studio apartment. Oh, yeah, build cost minus 100 bucks. All right, I'm just going to take out a loan. I think this is, it's not very risky, but... Eh. It's kind of risky, I guess. Okay. Maintenance people, however, they are they are pretty good at their job. They're, they're chilling. They're sitting around. They're, you know... Well, they're not chilling or sitting around, actually. What I mean to say is that they're doing a damned good job of, uh, of working away. Okay, we need water and we need electricity set up over here. I'm telling you, building, building a fucking, uh, you know, area, building an area, what the fuck, Build, building, building a building is, is an expensive piece of work, it really is, alright, well there we go, you should be moving in, you'll probably be moving in tomorrow, which is fine, you just reached a rating of 1 prestige, I imagine it's because my population reached 20, indeed it is, uh, this is a great step towards fame and glory, if you look down at your build menu, some new decorating options, uh, unlocked because of your higher prestige. More options will unlock later as you reach even higher prestige. Great. So we can add some wallpapers, can add some furniture, some indoor plants. It's kind of nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, influence allows us to hire some small artworks, which is kind of cool. So we're not, you know, we're not up to scratch on on art and stuff. But, you know, wallpaper, I suppose, is a good a good enough start yeah whatever whatever sure fuck it 
but yeah, Prestige, pretty darn good, and perhaps some other stuff in some other menus that we have unlocked. I do not know. Uh, what do we need here? A handyman services or a plumber? No, I don't really want to get either of those right now, to be honest. Okay, so we've got a lot of people that are going to be moving in, which is great. Oh, you want to move in. Oh, baby, some people to move in is great. Legal offices, you expect courier and copy services. Well, you know what? We do need to get those sorted, and we do need to get those sorted, like, kind of soonish, I would imagine. But that's okay. That's okay. Is there anything else that we really want to build? Like, super pronto style? I don't really know if there is. I mean, obviously, we've... Oh, great. Fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Obviously, there is some stuff that we want to build, and courier services is a great place to start. In the basement, perhaps? Is that a good place? I mean, can we even build it above ground? We totally can build it above ground, but I don't really want to do that. I would love to build it down in the basement, though. That seems like a totally great place to build it. And then we'll just expand down into the basement. And fingers crossed that'll work out all fine and dandy. So we've got courier services. We can get copy services. But desired by tenants. Yeah, fantastic. I know it's desired by tenants. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And as soon as my bloody uh, my bloody maintenance men stop jacking off and actually get into work, then we're going to be sitting pretty. In the meantime, I can connect up some electricity cable just to make sure that the courier actually works, which is great. Now, bear in mind that all of these services, you know, collectively, they do cost money. So, we are providing these services to our customers at our own expense. However, if it's going to allow us to rope in more customers and keep our current customers happy, then that is definitely a deal which I'm interested in. Okay, cafes. Oh my god, the prestige is flowing in. One prestige apparently allows us to, to get Judy's Bakery. All right. Likes high traffic areas. You only require an electricity line. You don't require... This one, Athena Coffee, doesn't require a uh, a water pipe hookup, which is fine. I think we're going to get Judy's Bakery, quite frankly, because that that's great. That's really good for us. Uh, we also don't want to make sure... Don't want to make sure? That, does, that doesn't really make sense, Potato. You want to try, try that one again? Sure, I'll try that one again. Uh, what I was going to say is that we want to try and make sure that there's not too much competition in the uh, in the food market area so we're not going to get too many more cafes than we've uh, already got or cafes oh a deluxe studio apartment you require a gas pipe hookup prefers upper floors hates noisy areas hates smelly areas expects trash bins on the same floor uh, and you may require a plumber from time to time uh that's another like service that we can provide but we're going to get a deluxe apartment because the amount of money that 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 is on the table is quite literally nuts. Deluxe studio apartment. That is great. Great, great, great for us. We still need copy services, uh, but our grand workers should be working on it. Can we build uh, like bigger, better offices, I guess? Like, is that... Oh, we can get creative offices. I guess, which is kind of nice. We can get more creative people. Uh, you need a phone line. I mean, who gives a shit? You need a bottled water service? Really? You need a bottled water service? Well, all right then. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, connect up the gas lines. Now, we don't actually have any existing gas lines, so it's going to be... Oh. oh, we're out of money. Fuck me. We're completely out of money. All right, well, this is, uh, is kind of cool, I guess. Also, we have literally zero money. Oh, we can actually get a community bank loan. That's fine, I guess. We have literally, well, we, we did have literally zero money to get ourselves a nice gas manifold, which is kind of nice because we also really need it. So that's kind of not a problem. We still need copy services. That's kind of the, the next purchase on the agenda. To keep everybody happy. You require electricity. The tent is considering moving out. There's not enough transformers in the building. Do we not have enough electricity? Really? Is that not a thing that we have? We probably have enough. I guess. Is there any way that I can see? It might well be. 
utilities. Yeah, I mean, looks fine from here. But I'm guess I'm guessing if uh, if you're telling me that there's not enough. Look, okay, well, yeah, 21. Okay, 21's in demand. That's fine. We'll just get another one. That's fine. That's fine. That's honestly fine. That's not a problem. I can do it quite easily. Uh, and with very little hassle to me, to anyone. Let's also get some more gas pipes over here. Why? Why are you considering moving out? You just fucking moved in. Residents seem unhappy here. Why are you unhappy? You really shouldn't be unhappy. Well, who knows? Who bloody well knows at this point? You do not have an electrical line. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. You've now got an electrical line. So there you go. So everybody should have copy services. Everybody should have everything that they need, okay? Everybody should have absolutely everything that they possibly, possibly, possibly could bloody well need. And we're getting more and more influence as the day goes on, which is lovely. It's filling me with a great amount of confidence. Now, do we want to take the time to invest in somebody that is a little bit better? So, you office supplies, you office supplies, and your bottled water. Alright, I'm going to get the two office supplies, people. Because then we're going to make a profit on it. Because if they're both paying us like 180 bucks, office supplies are going to cost us, well, less than 180 bucks. So, if we go down here and we have a look at... Here we go. Office supplies. Yeah, it's going to cost us... Pays rent, zero, needs an electrical line. It doesn't cost us anything. I guess it doesn't cost us any upkeep at all, which is fine, I guess. Yeah, we'll keep one space free so that we can have the uh, gas line down there. But all in all, this looks like a pretty wasted little area. Okay, we've got 10 influence now. You need 10 influence before you can place this consultant's office. Place an interior decorator. Should we get the interior decorator down on like the ground floor or something, or should we put him like high up on the f high up in the in the building? I think we'll put him high up in the building. Why not? We got an achievement. Needs a consult. Great. So this should allow us to place some art and uh, and stuff like that. I don't really know why anybody would want some art. Oh, look! You must build an you must build an office for a lobbyist in your building to unlock the consultant upgrades for the politics track. All right. This is cool. This is very, very cool. An operations building manager to unlock consultant upgrades on the operations track. I guess we'll get all three of these on this floor then. It's quite nice. Um, I feel that we're being very inefficient with our use of space right now. I feel that that is completely correct in, uh, in, in my assumption there. Uh, let's have a quick look at the noise. So there's noise over here. So I'm not super... Not super happy with uh, with putting some more deluxe apartments down here. But that's something that we could do should we really, 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 really want to. Yeah, so that's something. We're also going to have to work on getting a plumber as well. Uh, yesterday's cash flow. Yesterday's cash flow was, in fairness, pretty good because we took out a little, a little, little cheeky loan on the side. You know, it wasn't exactly great for us, but hey-ho. We are very close to getting those studios apartments, those studio apartments done though, so maybe we just want to add some more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Alright, let's just, yeah, you know, let's just add some more, uh, some more, some more floors over here. Still need to find something to do with this area, but at the same time, I kind of like giving these guys up here are a nice little bit of a view. It's kind of cutesy, I think. It's kind of cutesy. Okay, you don't have a phone line connected. Honestly, that is completely not a problem, considering uh, phone lines are now on, like, every single level. There we go. An interior decorator? Cool. I'm glad that you're here to, to do the good job. Uh, shit. We also need to make sure that we have a fucking phone switchboard. We don't have space for at all. Grand. Uh, let's just get a phone switchboard under here, I guess. Then that's totally val totally valid to do, right? It's gonna make a couple of people unhappy, but that's okay. 
Look, just build this over here, please. Please, dude. Why are you not happy? Plumbing services needed. Shit. There's always a bloody challenge, isn't there? There's always a bloody challenge. All right. Just build out there. Build out there. We can get plumbing services set up over here. We're going to get phones first, I think. Not like it really makes that much of a difference, but hey-ho. Uh, phone, phone switchboard. Plumb that in. Great. I suppose that, you know, at the beginning, there's always going to be these little uh, these little challenges that you're going to have to deal with. You know, the infrastructure that you need to set up, you know, anything really is, uh, is always going to exist. Uh, plumber, we're going to stick you down here. That should work perfectly. Do you need anything? I don't think you need anything. As long as you get built, then that should be, that should be grand. You're going to be built by the masturbating Rebecca, which is lovely, I suppose, if that's your thing. And the plumber should be plumbing straight away. Bingo. And we reached two prestige. Holy cow, how did we reach two prestige? I have literally no idea how we reached two prestige. 41 population? Oh, shit, man. We have loads of population now. Uh, well, you know what? We're gonna call it an episode there, actually. I think that's a pretty darn good place to go out on. We got a whole bunch of stuff that we want to explore over the next couple of episodes. So, ladies and gents, my name, of course, has been Over the Potato. This has been Project High Rise. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.